iPhone 13 mini was released six months ago along with its taller siblings. And this phone I feel like was overlooked by a lot of people who thought that a smaller phone equates to a worse phone. But that's not quite the case six months later. Let's find out why. The iPhone 13 mini is a small phone. It only weighs about 140 grams and it's tiny. And to me, that is not its downfall, but it's its superpower. In such a small size, I can do a huge chunk of tasks that I used to do on the iPhone 13 Pro. And this can all be done one handed. This is the phone that you can fit in your pocket or purse and it doesn't feel like it's there. The iPhone 13 mini is compact and honestly, it just feels like the right size that a phone should be. Apple put together a powerful device underneath a beautiful 5.4 inch display. When using the iPhone 13 mini outdoors, content still looks vibrant and everything just pops. It's large enough to watch content comfortably. It's large enough to text without feeling like the keyboard is squished together. And it's large enough to scroll through social media and find out the latest on Kanye West if you choose to. The point is this phone does not feel cramped. And as someone who is six feet tall, give or take a few inches, inches, I don't feel as if I'm missing out by not having the iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, I lied. There is one moment where I find myself wishing that I had a larger screen and that would be gaming. I found that whenever I'm gaming, I feel as if my hands are taking over most of the screen and making for a less favorable gaming experience. When gaming, it does feel like the iPhone 13 mini can benefit from having a bigger display because you need extra screen real estate to react quickly to things. And it's really hard to when your hands are blocking most of the screen. So if you are into games, I'd say stay clear from the iPhone 13 mini and go with the iPhone 13 standard or the Pro. Lucky for me, I rarely game on my phone, but I thought that will be worth mentioning. Speaking of gaming, the experience is mad, smooth, and buttery. And that's all thanks to the chip powering the iPhone 13 mini. And that's the A15 chip. Look, can I be honest? The A15 chip to me feels the exact same as the A12 12Z, the A14 chip, and any of the more recent chips. That means that opening apps is a smooth process. Gaming is a smooth process. You can do crazy things like editing 4K content. A lot of people have done it right from the iPhone 13 mini. This is the stuff that has been said in any of the past reviews. So I'm not gonna gush too much about the chips or even give you benchmarks. I feel like you saw that already. What I will say is that six months later, I still feel like this chip is fast. And more importantly, it's gonna last for years to come and continue to get the latest OS updates for five to seven years in the future. The true power of the A15 chip that separates it from the other phones is the efficiency. So let's move on to battery life. If you go back to last year, the iPhone 12 mini faced a lot of criticism due to the battery life being subpar. And quite frankly, from what I've heard, it sucked. It makes total sense though. Like it's a smaller phone, it has a smaller battery. So obviously you're gonna get less battery use, right? Well, on the iPhone 13, the A15 helps alleviate that because the battery actually lasts. This sounds crazy, but when I was dropping from the 13 Pro over to the 13 mini, I didn't notice a huge drop off, even though my use pretty much stayed the exact same on the phone. I don't do any heavy tasks on my iPhone. I use it to text, social media, FaceTime, checking emails, and using YouTube Studio. This phone easily lasts me my entire workday and then some. I have to plug it in around 7 to 8 p.m., depending on how my day went, but I've been able to use it until around 8 to 9 p.m. on lighter days. That is amazing. I don't want to understate it. For me, it has some pretty solid battery life. And that's just a true testament to how well Apple designed their chips, the A15 to be specific, to be efficient. So if you are worried about getting this phone due to like charge anxiety, you don't need to worry too much. But then again, my use is not your use. So the best thing to do is probably get the phone tested out for like a week or two and then maybe see if it works for you but for me i was actually surprised it lasts pretty long the iphone 13 mini also has some great cameras on it it has 
two 12 megapixel cameras at the back and another 12 megapixel camera at the front for your selfies. To be completely honest, I never use my phone for pictures and videos. Like I just like using my mirrorless cameras so much that my phones personally don't really get any use for me as a camera. But if you at home want to use it as one, you're gonna have some of the best cameras on the market on the iPhone 13 mini. Although Samsung is getting really close to what iPhone could do, I do think that still iPhones, including the iPhone 13 mini, take the best pictures. I went to the aquarium the other day and took a few videos on the iPhone 13 mini. And honestly, it looks so high quality. Just look at it for yourself. Coupled with the small size, this is a great phone for the parents who want a device to capture clean images and videos of your small kids while they're playing at the park or just growing up right in front of your eyes. Or maybe you can use it to embarrass your teenager whenever you can. Either way, this is a really solid camera in the iPhone 13 mini, and I still like it six months later. Now, I wouldn't be completely honest if I didn't point out the shortcomings of the camera. There's no macro mode that you find on the 13 Pro. There's also no LiDAR sensor for adding more depth to an image. There's also no ProRes. But while these may be shortcomings to very specific people, I honestly don't even think these are gonna be a problem for a majority of users. Personally speaking, I had these features and I did not use them at all. Don't even get me started on the useless cinematic mode. I don't use it at all. And that just means I don't use a lot of these camera features. But regardless, this camera is a great camera and I like using it this far, but it's never gonna be my main shooter. If you are watching this video, Video and like how it's going so far, maybe you can consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of videos coming up on iPhones and Apple products. So if you like this video, please consider helping a small creator out by hitting the subscribe button. Now we finally have come to the part of the video where I tell you about what is wrong with the iPhone 13 mini and all the things that I've hated about the iPhone 13. But to be completely honest, there's not much. So let's spend the next minute or two nitpicking. First, the iPhone 13 mini still still uses lightning, which has been on the iPhone since the iPhone 5 and is long overdue to be removed. Second, remember when I said that there are gonna be a few times that it feels like the iPhone 13 mini is not even there? Well, that's happened to me a few too many times and I just feel like I, I lost the phone even though it was in my jacket pocket. And that's just because it's so small, it's hard to determine if it's there all the time. Other than that though, I'd say that that's it. There's nothing else that I can think of that will be considered a con. This phone is probably my favorite phone released by Apple over the last few years because it just feels so different and just so perfect. I had the iPhone 12 last year, so going to the iPhone 13 when I did, it made it feel like the exact same device over and over. But going down to the mini felt like I was using a different phone, although the OS is the exact same and there are a lot of similarities. Do you want a phone that feels good in the hand or perhaps a phone that has a bigger screen for gaming or maybe even a phone that you you could just use one handed while you're on the subway or doing whatever you gotta do. These are the decisions you have to make when buying the iPhone 13 mini. And honestly, if it was me, I'd pick the mini every single time, which is what I ended up doing. What do you think of the iPhone 13 mini? Is the 13 mini too small for you or is it just the right size? Let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for a lot more content that I got coming soon. That's it for today and I will see you in the next one. Peace.